What is up YouTube? It's your boy Mateo coming at you with another weapons history. So in the previous video we did my 1941 Nazi German Mauser and in this video we're going to do my 1914 Gewehr 98. It's basically the exact same rifle just made probably 30-ish years before. This uh, used to be a longer rifle which interesting enough the history behind these will explain all that but let's start off with the well all the parts this is in all matching metal parts other than the stock the front barrel band and the bayonet lug everything else is matching um, when I purchased this I got it at a local gun store off the used gun rack and I honestly don't think they knew what they had because this one had a bubbled stock where somebody had cut it off there and kind of whittled it to look like a deer rifle. But it looked stupid as hell because it had this ginormous barrel in front of it. So I think nobody bought it for that reason. But me being me and knowing the history of some of these things, um, I actually saw it and I jumped on the deal because how often do you get a 110 year old rifle with 90 probably five percent matching metal parts including the bottom magwell floor plate trigger bolts all the safeties literally everything on this matches except the stock the barrel bands and the bayonet lug so this is actually an interesting rifle this one is technically an imperial german mauser uh, this was made in the months right literally right before World War one broke out So if you look at the serial numbers on these which I'm not going to show you the serial numbers because Once again, this is YouTube and people are stupid. This is a C series and it is actually only a three-digit serial number the um, If you go through and you look at how many of these rifles were made at the Orbendorf factory, which I forgot to show you, this is an official Waffenfabrik Mauser Orbendorf. This is made at the OG Mauser factory and made in the heart of Germany pre-World War I. So, like I was saying, the date codes on these things. Uh, the C is an early one and World War II, or excuse me, World War I started, I want to say, middle of 1914. And if you look at the numbers, the C code is the very beginning of 1914. So technically this one was made right before World War I kicked off. So that's kind of cool in itself. But the really cool part is in the stamps on this. Just like the other one, the stamps tell the story. So if you look down here, you have the Imperial German Mauser stamp. The Prussian, I guess Prussian. And then if you come back here, you have a German Wehrmacht stamp. And you might be thinking, well, why is there a German stamp on a rifle that was made in 1914? Well, there's a couple clues to this one. And one of them is that front sight post, or excuse me, the rear sight post, and the length of the stock on this one. So originally the Gewehr 98s, the stock ended right about there. And it was a full wood stock, you know, that had the extra long front handguard. And it had a weird, I forget what they call them, but it was like a whoop de doop sight. I'm sure there's a name for it, I just don't know it because I've never actually seen one in person or had one in person. But this is the K98 sight, sight post. And if at first I thought, I was like, well, this is a bubble one too. But then I got looking and doing some research on the marks. See that S42G down there, marked 17? That is properly serial numbered, but it has a different mark. And if you do the research on the mark, that was a Mauser Orbendorf factory mark from 1935. So you can kind of do a little bit of history and figure out what happened between there because in 1935, the up and rising Nationalist Socialist Party, which you know, all know who was in charge of that one, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mustache. They decided they wanted to go against the Treaty of Versailles, which was the outcome of World War I, and they wanted to start rearming Germany because Germany was in such of a sad state after all the other nations had taken the reparations. 
So in blatant disregard for the treaty, they started rearming Germany. And the first thing they did is they took all these older Gewehr 98s and they upgraded them, which if you look at the 1941 K-98 and you look at my Gewehr 98, you can see that that is a K-98 rear sight post. So this rifle went through World War I and it was refitted for World War II. And by some miracle, this rifle has made it through two world wars and now is part of my collection. It is ungodly long, but damn, she's accurate. And just like my 1941 K98, she is smooth as glass operationally. Same exact controlled feed magazine follower. The same lock on empty on open, same three position safety, same turn down bolt handle, which is another sign that this is um, retool because the original ones were straight bolt handles. This is a turn down bolt handle. The, uh, the sling is not original. I actually ordered a reproduction, which has got the S42 stamp on the inside of it. So I mean, it's kind of cheating, but it is what it is. But yeah, that is a Gewehr. 98 and it is uh so my k98 is 83 years old this year and my gewehr 98 is 110 years old this year so just goes to show you they don't make them like they used to this is your boy mateo if you like these videos like and subscribe and i'll try to bring you some more stuff like this and if you don't like it tell me you don't like it and we won't do this again so appreciate y'all watching have a good night